One of the great things about studying geology in the San Antonio area is the great diversity of geology in this region. And we have a really long history as well. And it's really shaped San Antonio because our water resources and our energy resources are here because of geology. The Department of Geological Sciences at the University of Texas at San Antonio is the only program offering a graduate degree in South Texas. The Geological Society of America has begun these new industry tracks this year and we have a very strong program in two of them. The Energy Industry Track and the Hydrogeology and Environmental Science Industry Track. We teach classes such as Physical Hydrogeology, Environmental Hydrogeology, Groundwater Modeling, Water Resources. I'm now going to increase to 12.4 hertz. The equipment we have here at UTSA is one of a kind in that sense that not a lot of universities have it. And this allows us to study what few others can in terms of fluvial river morphology. The flume, the way we're using it here, is an artificial river and it allows us to see change that you would see in nature over a long period of time. We can see that in a short period of time since we can manipulate flow conditions. We emphasize a lot of field work, which is everyone recognizes is important in geological education, including things like what we're doing here today coming out to this well site to measure water levels. You can see it in a book, but some people don't process that the same way when you actually go outside to see the evidence of these geologic structures and these features that we need to learn. I see those sparkles in the eyes because they start connecting things between what they learn in class and what they can see on the outcrop. That's a fantastic experience. We have a diverse faculty in the Department of Geological Sciences with diverse research interests as well. I'm interested in uh, the continental lithosphere or the, the plate tectonic processes that affect the continental lithosphere. So most specifically looking at uh, continental collisions, the, when two continents collide together. I do a lot of research in uh, Norway and also in Bhutan. My whole research in, uh, interest actually back to 2004. Since then, I uh, think about what we should do. Then we say, oh, remote sensing actually is the best way to study the Antarctic and then the Arctic because that is far, it's cold, it's, um, it's a lot easy to access. Eight times we went to the Arctic and the Antarctic for field work. So that's my story of the um, polar research. My research is focused on the intersection between stratigraphy and paleontology. I'm currently active on several task groups of the International Union of Geological Sciences Carboniferous Subcommission. So I am working to help stabilize a single international time scale uh, to be used worldwide. I'm primarily interested in cabinet platforms that developed during the early Cretaceous. I was interested, and I'm still interested, in looking at the relationship between the sea level changes and the way these cabinet ecosystems can recover after environmental crisis. And nowadays, I transferred this research from Europe into Texas and a bit in Arizona, where I'm applying the same techniques, so cabinet sedimentology and stratigraphy and a bit of geochemistry, to Abshanadian cabinet systems. One of the very unique studies uh, at UTSA, especially uh, for the Center for Water Research, we, we have a, a collection of many spiritual themes from uh, uh, many different areas. Advantage of spiritual themes are they can be precisely dated, so we know uh, what time they formed, and then we work with uh, many uh, interdisciplinary experts to actually conduct um, collaborative uh, interdisciplinary studies with us. And that's actually one of the really nice things about our department is that we have the capability of being able to analyze all of these different materials because that can give us a, an idea of how climate has changed in the past and help to, uh, to inform um, how climate might change in the future. The combination of different fields of study within geosciences that we have represented here at UTSA allows me to work with multiple faculty members and combine their 
research interests and their expertise into one major research topic. Since 2007, all of our master's graduates have been employed in geology. 60% have been employed in the petroleum industry and 20% have been employed in hydrogeology and environmental geology industries. The remaining graduates have gone on for doctoral degrees, have worked with regulatory agencies, or have gone into teaching. I have to say this is a mind-blowing experience to see a student that you train getting a job and being happy because they fulfill their life. And I have to say that seeing that success of my students, that's making part of my own success.